Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome to XCOM Apocalypse, where we're doing some old-school video gaming right here. And uh, I played this game as a kid long ago, was not very good at it, but I enjoyed all I played of it, and uh, never finished it without some glitch help. I needed more money than the game would give me, but that's... we're... 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 We'll, we'll see how it all goes. I hope I won't need it, but I have my doubts, but we'll see. All right, good. Right, okay, so... <clears throat> First question is, we're gonna need to consider a name for our base. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning upon something like, uh, uh... Let's, let's start with River Sticks, and then work our way from there. There you go. I think that's th that's a decent start. Yes, River Sticks is this it, it is the name of our first base. And uh we'll just hope and pray that it 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 stays intact. Uh I may or may not need it to re-roll the game a couple of dozen times to get this specific base. Because I really like the idea of having enough space to just do stuff. Uh, and this has... If if I make a really quick adjustment to the building bits, I can actually have, uh, I think, three big labs and... Well, or and or workshops in here. So, that's useful. So, I think, again, I'm a huge... Oh, oh and, and it's on novice difficulty. Because I... I enjoy the game so so much. Huge huge nostalgia. I am probably probably not very good at it. So <laughs> here we go. All right. So I think I need to build an another store to uh, replace this one and then demolish this one to add more space because we're gonna need it eventually. Probably. I guess I could could just wait on it a bit more, but I need to eventually do that at, at least. Uh, but okay. First things first. What sort of uh, staff people do we have? We have... I forget if we could name our people in this one. We'll, we'll worry about that when we get there. Um, that's one, two, three... About ten people, I think? Or something? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna need at least twelve, I think. Armand Cantona. <laughs> he looks fun. Although I think these two have better stats to begin with. Like, I guess speed is better with him, though. And he's very brave. I guess that's something. Nah, I mean, I mean, I mean, bravery is is how how we win the day and honestly i probably could use the 13th person as well but yeah we'll see so let's take uh okay um ba -ba 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 -ba. let's talk with arthur bailey and Cantona and work from there okay so uh biochemists what sort of skill 91 73 66 91 72 all right, so the lowest one we got is 66. Fire hit that and take 94. It's a rough world, but we gotta do our work well to make this all roll. Uh, okay, good. And let's see, let's see. 84, 68, 79, 65. Ooh, there's a 99 in there, cool. And what, throw 65 back? Yeah. Yeah, 65, 67. Not a super good roll on those. Ooh, we have a hundred skill on workshop though. The others are a bit touch and go. Okay, so I think all of these three are improvements. Yeah, okay. So what, 66, 68, and 70 need to go then. So 70, 68, 66 away. Yeah. Alright, that's the best combo we can do. Now I'm just wondering if I need a 13th soldier. I mean, 
there is a thing that if people get really wounded, then I would. But I think my interceptor can carry only 12 people at a time until I... Yeah, until I... Uh, do stuff. So yeah, this thing. I'm gonna uh, carry... Yeah, 12 people can go in one, one move there, so... That's a problem. Alright. Uh, I wonder if I can sell my street vehicles, actually. That's probably not a terrible idea. Metro Power Gray. Right. Okay. I have no idea if I should carry the engines that they got, but we'll worry about that at some point. Okay, so, okay, step one. The thing I always tend to forget in my first go is put everyone in their labs. We'll wait for the uh, new recruits to come. Uh, so biochemists should do biotransport module. The thing you always have to do first, and I often, often in my first uh, moments of my new game as a kid, I forgot to, to start this, so I lost a little bit of time uh, before I actually get that going, because we're gonna need the biotransport module to uh, just carry back the corpses and uh, aliens we catch. And, right, and, and if you haven't heur heard of XCOM, the gist is relatively simple. Uh, we are a, like, a organization that is trying to protect this city from aliens, right? A aliens bad, and they come from dimensional gates, which are... Uh, let's see. Dimensional gates, which... Do, 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 do. Uh, I forget what they look like on the minimap. Hold on. Ah, there's... Yeah, that sort of like rotating pyramids on... In, in the sky, like so, right? Okay. So, so, so that is what, what we do. UFOs come through them, and we shoot at them, and then there's aliens in the city when that happens, and we try to repel the a a aliens' uh, research things to help us do that, and research the, the stuff we get from the combat missions, and do, 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 do. We're, we'll just manage all of the rest of, of the stuff as we do that. We have one base, uh, these vehicles, three flyers, two street vehicles, these people, the people that I uh, just hired and the rest that we already have, the chemists, the workshop people, the quantum physics people, hostile vehicles, if there are any, are in this tab, and this bit is the or organizations, st st stuff like the government, the Megapole, which I think is basically this city, I think. The Cult of Sirius, which hate me because they're already alien-aligned, because they like the aliens for reasons I cannot quite fathom. Uh, and then the rest are, are stuff like Marsec, Cyberdynamics, General Metro, Cyberweb, Transstellar, and so on and so on and so on. Most are neutral, Megapole is allied, I think th the government is friendly, uh, Cult of Sirius is hostile, no one is unhappy, and, and the rest is just neutral for now. And we gotta keep doing our job, or the aliens will e e eventually uh, infiltrate some of the... Um, the uh, or organizations, and that would be bad. Especially if one loses the government or the city, I think. Or, or the um, megapole, rather. I believe the city is called Megapole, but I could be wrong. Right. So it's a very, um... I'm not sure, like, what kind of style to call it. It almost reminds me of, like, a combination of... Uh, I don't even... Like, a combination of Judge Dredd and just... Th theme Park? I don't know. <laughs> it's... 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 I'm, I'm happy it's very green, which is... Uh, at least the trees survived into the dystopian future, and that's always nice, right? Like, imagine having cities which are this have have this many trees all 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 the time. Like, I I can't complain, right? It's actually quite pretty. 
So yeah, I rerolled the base a number of times. You can buy new ones. I came very often to this one, which is... They all have different floor plans, and this is probably the best one. I'm not the expert, but I think it could be. Okay, so... We're gonna wait for the recruits to get to the base. I think they... Let's see. Let's gotta try to get a good example. I think this cab is a recruit. This auto taxi, so we can probably just follow them. And, and, and when they get here, we're probably pretty close to uh, having most of them there. Oh, wait, was that a double dimension gate in the same spot? Jesus. Yeah. Okay, there we are. Recruits in. So yeah, one dimension gate here, but hold the phone. Two dimension gates in the basically... I've never seen this before. I mean, there is some randomness in how the map, I think, just checks off. But I don't remember if the pyramids happen... Ra like, I think the pyramids are placed randomly because I did a like a small test run of the game for a couple of days and this is not how it was i think i i think i had a had a dimension gate around here then so hmm okay but i think the city is always the same per difficulty so i'm on novice and that's then and, and this city map is at least there i'm not sure if it's different for different difficulties i think it could be but i'm not 100% on that. I feel like I saw a different city map for someone that was playing it on YouTube, I think. And I'm not sure, but I think they chose a different difficulty, like maybe a moderate or whatever, like in the middle of the uh, area, so not sure. But that's that's uh, that's the current um, guess we have going here. Okay, so he goes there. These two go here. I think it was there, and I think I'm missing one more workshop boy, apparently. Yes. Or, sorry, lady. A, a Ludmila. Uh, McNeil, yes. Alright. Oh! Civilian car 48 destroyed by police car. That is interesting. I'm wondering if... Let's... Always pause to deploy the finish. I I'm worried that if I unpause that, then I won't be uh, seeing the messages that also include my my vehicle. So I'll I'll try to see if I get both or no. Okay. Right, and then they go to here. I can't build anything in engineering yet, but we're gonna get there eventually. Okay, so, next up, we need, I believe I don't have any spare armors and so on, so we need to get those. And apparently Armand Cantona is still not with us, but we can rename our people, so I think we could... Uh, I'm wondering if I should get to that business or, or just keep the, keep the names as is. I probably... Let's start with them as is, and we can change them on the way if we feel like it's a, it's it's within what we want to do, because it would take a lot of time from from our uh, business of getting things done for for the uh, quick beginning. So I think yeah. So I believe I have I hired two people I think, and there's actually the last one. Boom. Alright, so, we're gonna need a two sets of armor. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, helmets, arms, bodies, legs, good. And do -do 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 the weapon stuff, I really like the sniper guns at the beginning especially because they are accurate and I need accuracy. Beyond all else, accuracy is key. Um, I need a good set of basically all of the weapons. Or, so, sorry, not um, the... Um, the ammunition, rather. 
Law pistol cape laser pod and then the auto cannon stuff, yeah. Armor piercing, high explosive and incendiary. Right, okay. Um So how much are if I just take them all? Not super bad, okay. And I believe at least a couple of my people are carrying stun grapples, which is not the best gun to be rolling around with at the beginning of the game, because I can't uh, get any use out of it, and it's a very short range. So I'm probably best off getting a couple of law pistols instead. I think at least two is what I need. Maybe, well, let's, let's check what we... Actually, yes, thank you. So... Yeah, we got the guns for them. Uh, I kind of don't usually use the smoke grenades, but maybe I should start. But at least in the beginning, I don't think they're super duper needed. So we can just clean those up, because they do... Like, everything weighs something, so there is that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just clean them up a little bit later. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's two stun grapples. Yeah, there's the answer. And one mind bender. I, yeah, yeah, we, no, we, we're not gonna start with that. We're gonna need three law pistols then. Un unless I wanna go, go bigger. A accuracy 45. What's the machine gun's accuracy? 30. Uh, I could take this auto cannons as well. The difference is, like, there's a difference in. Ah, let's just let's try to keep it cheap. We got all the ammo or or already, and just m money problems is what always happens very quickly here. Let's try to just manage this cheaply if we can. So law pistols in three of them. Yes, boom. That should work out. I hope. Okay. They got here quickly. I like that. Thank you. Bum, bum, bum. And let's see. Let's put some guns in these hands. Oh! Oh, they... Ugh. Damn it. Uh, okay, uh, in which case I'll probably just like hire the 13th guy and then put that gun in there Man, I like again mistakes will be made <laughs> They will very much be made uh, da, 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 da. I tend to carry three clips for each gun just because I sometimes run out Even in er early game. I find I did a very very quick uh, test run of like I think I don't know, less than one week. And I had that already happen where I ran out of bullets for uh, for them peoples. So, I probably wouldn't really need the stun grenades yet, but I might as well put them in now, because I'm going to need them eventually later within a week. So, it's hopefully the sensible option. <clears throat> Actually, there we go. Right, and three of these. Here we are. Hands, legs, all that stuff. Uh, I actually, uh, also, in, in my test run, I had a very, very... It might not be as odd as it may s seem to me, but I had this scenario happen where... Uh, there's the possibility that the Cult of Sirius... I possibly ha aliens as well, but that the Cult of Sirius um, just um, raids your base, and you're in trouble, because, you know, that's bad, right? And they're pretty well armed, I find. Like, they throw a lot of explosives, that's really, really dangerous, bad news, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I remember from my childhood 
that that tended to happen, like, quite deep into the game with me. Like, maybe, I don't know, let's say week... It's hard to say, but multiple weeks in, in, like, in-game weeks. Like, let's say six, ten, something, I don't know. Like, deep in. I, I forget how long the game tends to usually be, but, like, deep into it, yeah, right? Like, when I o already had, like, um, pretty powerful alien rifles and whatever to use, and I was, like, p powerful. Like, all of my soldiers had multiple layers of whatever, like, like really solid armor, and everything was just, I was just, everyone was badass, and just, boom. And what happened in my test run to see if the game works well, if I feel like playing this, that sort of, sort of stuff, um, what happened was the Cult of Sirius raided me on week one. One. And I didn't know that's possible, but it apparently is. And I was, at that stage, I was dealing with alien in infestations of basically two spitters, maybe one uh, of the brain sucker launching blue boys and a couple of worms at worst like maybe six or seven aliens max right and then the cult of sirius raids me my people were already somewhat wounded and, and exhausted from the like previous runs like well i mean wounded and not yet healed i'm i'm i mean and then they come in i think there was 15 or like 12 to 15 sirius people there with just Everyone armed to the teeth, all of them had the capacity to, to, to throw really bad news explosive gr grenades, as opposed to the good news explosive gr grenades, but still. And I, I had trouble. I did manage to win the thing eventually with no one dying, but damn, I was just, th that was really, really hard. Like, and I was really amazed that that's actually a thing that can happen. And I was like, um, damn. So now I know. So if that happens again, be... beware. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. So yeah, but we will absolutely not sell the stun grapples because we'll need those later. But just not quite yet. Because they like, they're really useful if people are close, but... If they're not close, they don't do anything, because their range is, like, 6. Whereas a pistol's range is 43, and the other Bobby have higher ranges. So it's just... The aliens tend to shoot from further away than 6. And then it just goes downhill if you happen to have a couple of people in the same squad with stun grapples, and there's just people far away. It just... it, it, it doesn't work. It's bad. It, it is a bad day. And 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 it and and it it be bad. Yes. All right. Add grenades. Stuff. 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 Do, 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 do. There is the risk with the grenades, of course, that uh, if something explodes near near these people, their own grenades can then explode on them. Like I, one of the serious people, I'm pretty sure had some like. It, it was either a rocket launcher, or they just happened to throw a grenade at the very same same moment that someone shot at my people. Explosion. And then I had at least one stun grenade, and I think another uh, one of these just, like, AP grenades just, like, explode on them, and then just mayhem ensued. So that is a risk. But I think grenades is still something we should have for the sake of just trying to survive. Because sometimes they cluster up, sometimes there's a really bad doorway you just need to deal with. Okay, I think that's all we need to do. Cool, good. Uh, five, five, five. Yep, 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 we're good. And we can probably now start the thing. So let's make a save. So yeah, the previous saves here are all from my test run. They're, like, from either one or two days ago, basically. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to use the save games b between 3 and 8, just so that my starting save in the top one r r remains intact from the test run, and my latest save from the uh, 
test run also in the tenth one. So I'll try to use the ones in the middle, just so we're, uh... I just, I'd like to preserve them in case I need to just, it, 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 like, if I want to play that on my own, or if I need to just check something from there, or if someone asks, like, Hey, did you really get raided by the... And I believe I can show it from there. I think so, so. There we are. I mean, like, why would anyone doubt that, but... <laughs> I, I wouldn't believe people if they told me that that they got raided on the f first week, so, yeah. Or, well, I probably would, but I would be like, oh, I didn't know I didn't know that's possible, and now I know, so, yeah. Every day is a school day when, when, when Cult of Sirius raids you. <laughs> I'm also wondering if I could be allowed to raid Cult of Sirius's uh, facilities and gain money that way. I haven't tried that, but there's that, maybe. I should probably try to do that just before the weekly um, uh, evaluation from the government and see if that uh, affects my income negatively. I know that if I destroy their buildings from the outside, that does. Like, they hate that. Like, the government doesn't like me destroying the buildings of Cult of Sirius. Which I feel is just... I mean, I'm doing the city a favor here, like, which they own this one? And that one. So this this white building here, and this white building here. So in case we ever need to worry about those, that's where they're where they'll be coming from. Uh, I won't at least yet buy any uh, of the b -b 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 the uh, let's see here these things uh, vehicles because. I'm quite sure that I'll at least be able to deal with the first UFO incursion just with the stuff I have, and I'm trying to save money. But I'm also aware that at some point I probably do need to get more of vehicles. And I'm honestly unsure how, like, wh how, what should I try? I'm guessing mostly hover cars and hover bikes because interceptors are so endlessly expensive. I think that's the way to go. Hover bikes are like tiny flies that do their thing, but they're like, when I played the game with the money duplicating glitch, I did get basically everything, and the hover bikes had their use, they're like tiny flies doing their thing, and they, I guess they maybe, maybe, make it more likely that the, uh, that the UFOs will crash land rather than... get destroyed completely. Also, if I'm seeing this right, it looks like the map has all of the dimensional gates right next to my base. All three. Unless I'm missing one. And if that's the case, that is awesome. Man, this this game role is really lucky. But yeah, I, I, I wanted to also just showcase... Oh, uh, let's say... Hi. So yeah, so I wanted to showcase like the game's world a bit because uh, you probably at this point have heard the soundtrack that's 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 going on. Now it got a, a bit quiet, but you know what I mean. Um, I've always enjoyed its atmosphere. I remember it as a kid. It's it's so like it, it feels slightly oppressive, but mostly cozy. Like you can just imagine just being at night, just at your computer, doing this thing and just immersing yourself in the vibe of the world. And just, I realize the city, like, it probably is slightly less deep than it looks, but it looks deep. Like, it looks like it has its own comings and goings. The organizations attack each other. The police sometimes destroy vehicles that they deem, uh, like, probably unlawful or cr criminal or whatever. And it's just, this place feels alive. I realize it's not exactly GTA V o o over here, but back in 97 when this game was new, like, my mind was so blown when I, like, looked at this thing. Like, especially 
well, I guess at night it's even more atmospheric, but still. Like, it's just... Mm, it feels so... The nostalgia vibes of this thing that probably looks really simple if you're, like, a bit younger and are used to more complex games, but it just... It looks so... It just... It brings out all the cozy, just... Nostalgia vibes of everything looks just as good as it needs to look. Like, in the same way how Fallout 1, in a weird way, looks better than Fallout 3. At least in the people... Like, the characters, because... You can just... It's almost better to imagine the details than seeing Uncanny Valley stuff, you know? So... Did the city make a noise when that ta ta taxi went in? I, I think they might, un 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 unless I heard something else from the world itself. Anyway, seems robust for its time. Yeah, I agree. It 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 really does, and especially the fact that there's so many organizations in the city that have their own like uh, alignments to you. And they react to what you do. Like, if you accidentally destroy some of their building stuff when you fight the UFOs, they're gonna let you know. Like, they're gonna, like, change their stance toward you. And they can go very unhappy and maybe even hostile. Especially hostile if they get infested with aliens. But even without that, they can be deeply unhappy, for sure. It's just... And it's just this time of gaming when stuff like Master of Orion 2 was I think right around this time and it's just at this point just these really really deep games that could focus on being deep under the hood without using like 500 million dollars to have a million billion polycons in the face of random shopkeeper number 42nd you know it's 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 just there's something very free about this stuff like it it feels like like when this was a thing people could focus on the stuff that mattered you know like when games could be made without a 300 million dollar budget and it's just it 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 still feels all kinds of deep robust, as you said. Like, it's just, there's something so, mmm. Ah, damn, I, I, I just, it, it feels so good. Man. As I say this, the game will probably at some point get too hard for me, and I have to maybe see if the money glitch works on, on this version as well. But that's a long time in the future, and even even if that happens, I will have had fun on along the way because I had fun uh, fun along the way, even when that happened in in my childhood. So probably it's it's, it's gonna be. Hello. We'll see. The police car destroyed a, an auto taxi because there was a reason apparently. They, like maybe they felt it was you know. There, there, there was a sudden, um, a, a movie pirate in the taxi, a, and, and they didn't follow the, 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 you wouldn't steal a car ad, and then they went with a pirated copy of Pirates of the Caribbean anyway, anyway, and, 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 and that's what happens in, in, uh, in actually, what year was this again? Uh, 2084. See, like that, that, that's when it, and, and in 2084, it's, it's, it's like a renaissance of the exact same Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They re they rediscovered them, you see, and yeah. Respect having deep level of mechanical simulation without needing all the graphical stuff to be pretty. Exactly so. Exactly so, yeah. Mm hmm. And, like, I don't need to know the exact specifics of how deep it actually goes. It feels deep, and that's the important bit. And every building is, is, is its own level. Every single one is its own level. Every single building, like, uh, 
this place here, the Bosch Institute, Owner Life 3, it's a school, that's its own building. Uh, the slums here, owned by the, by the government, that's its own building as well. Which is, uh, this thing. There's, there's actually three different slum buildings here, and they're all their own level. This police station here, that's its own level. Like, if aliens get there, they're all its own level. Like, yes! I, I remember back in my day... <laughs> When I was a kid, I feel like I remember vague rumblings that there was a, some sort of disappointed people who wanted this game to be bigger. And I'm like... D did you actually play this? Like, c c c come on now! And honestly, sometimes higher detail graphics don't look as good as something simpler and cleaner. It all depends on what a game is going for. That's true. Like, I, I maintain that probably the prettiest game for me, ever, might be Baldur's Gate 2. Like, it it's really hard to go past that hand-crafted look where every single pixel comes together into an actual art piece every single area, and it looks sharp in ways that no polygons are ever going to. Like, I don't think it can be done. Like, Witcher 3 is goddamn gorgeous, but but there's just something so magical about the handcraftedness of that kind. Like, it's it's like you're, you're playing, like, on the canvas of Mona Lisa or something. Like, there's something you just, you cannot replicate in the different graphical form for me. It just, it just isn't a thing, you know? It's... Like, all sorts of really modern games can be pretty as all hell, but Baldur's Gate 2 and the other stuff like Icewind Dale 2, those things, like, they're the pinnacle, probably, for me. Like, the stuff that comes close is probably Disco Elysium, maybe? And the Shadowrun uh, remake games. Oh, the, no, no, the reboot games. But that sort of a look is where, uh, like, the real beauty in video gaming is for me. There's something that no amount of realistic 3D graphics can fully quite... Like, it's in the same way that you go to a museum and, and you look at an oil painting from the 1800s about, like, o oceans and ships and just, just... And the beauty of that is something just, just cannot be fully, truly rivaled with a photo. That's, like, what I'm trying to say with these differences, you know? And that's kind of what I feel. This is not quite a Baldur's Gate 2, but it's pretty. And I and I like the look. And there we are. <laughs> I've been gushing about the game for half an hour. I'm so sorry. It's just... Ah, I'm so... Ah, it's so good. Ah. Okay, cool. Are we ready to go... Oh, and uh, the uh, sp speed of time. Slow speed? Like, one second takes three seconds. Normal speed, one second is one second. Well, actually, one second is more like two. And then there's double speed, where one second is half-ish a second. And a quadruple speed is just... One second is maybe one-eighth of a second. And then there's ultra speed, which goes really quickly. I'll show you in a, in a, in a bit. No worries, it's, it's nice to hear your thoughts on, on such things. I'm glad, I'm glad, because I just... I have weird thoughts, but sometimes they're worth hearing, I hope. I'm, I'm Valkyrie, hi, welcome, glad to, glad to see you. I, I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you're at work, I hope work is, is going good, and if you're home from work, I hope you're well-rested and feeling like a million uh, Finnish marks. Yes. Well, actually, in Finland we used euros, but like it's I I remember Finnish marks. We have nostalgia toward that. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So, and now ultra speed to show how quickly that goes. Well, that went very quickly. But I swear it it goes very quickly. Okay. Uh, Armand Cantona and friends, let's go and pick a fight with some aliens. Huh? 
So, we put our people into the Valkyrie Interceptor, and I actually didn't know I could just push this button already and they'll, and they'll just go there. Send selected units to blah blah blah. What I did... I'll, 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 I'll show you what I did as a kid, because I didn't know that the UI was as smart, smart as it is, but I'll, 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 I'll just show. I put the people in the, in the plane, and then select the plane, map open, we have here on the map, we have the place, go to building, boom. Do, 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 do. Oh, and the alert is because a live alien was spotted, and that's the thing. Oh, oh, but I do maybe think that the dimensional gates may be moving to uh, during the game. I'm not su super sure on that though. Okay, cool. And now we're here, and I also did as a kid. I moved the people into the building here, right? And then I press the uh, investigate building button. This all works, but it's kind of pointless to do that. It it didn't need to be quite this involved. I I I it's a lot. I played more com um more cumbersome games as a kid usually. So I this was actually much smarter than I thought it would be. But yeah, this works too. I'll show the the easy way the next go go around. Oh, okay, so. Tuesday, 7th of March, 2084. Search the building for alien life forms or other hostile forces. Engage the enemy, but where possible, stun aliens using a stun grapple, stun grenade, or psionic power. Live aliens are essential for our research. If all hostile units are, are eliminated or stunned, then we can recover any equipment and alien artifacts. A biotransport module must be at the investigation site to enable the recovery of unconscious or dead aliens. Be careful to avoid endangering any civilians, and remember that the organization which owns the building will not be pleased if there is extensive damage to the structure. Uh, I think it's the same text every time, at least uh, in these kind of like like a uh, alien building raids or alien raids in the city's buildings. So, and you can, and this is why I really liked this game, and I and, and I later had problems uh, adjusting to XCOM 1 and 2, the old ones, the 90s 1 and 2, because this has the option of turn-based game or real-time game. And my friend taught me to go real-time, and that's how, how I learned to play this. So turn-based was much, much slower, and I wouldn't maybe know which is easier or harder, but slower and more cumbersome for me because it's it it, it it takes more clicking around you know so real time let's let's go and the the earlier XCOM games did not have that they had no real time op option so i tried them much later in like i don't know some years later or was it when steam launched oh anyway um and I had issues because I just, it's slower to do turn based. It just, yeah. So it, it just, and, it, and they look even more simple and ever so slightly too big pixels, too low res, you know. But here, this sweet spot. So this works great for me. All right. So. Here we are at the police station. And actually in my test game, the police station, I think, was the first place I went as well. Although it looked different than this. At least, it, it might be just a different level. So, let's choose them to run. And o always ne uh, uh, kneel when they uh, stop. They make it, 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 it makes them quicker to move. And more accurate to shoot when they're uh, stationary. So, so they... Uh, and maybe when they kneel, maybe... They might be a smaller target. I'm not fully sure sure on that though. Uh, and for the record, I, I I enjoy the modern XCOMs, the the uh, Enemy Unknown from 2000 and whatever, eight, ten, uh, and XCOM 2, the newest one. I I think they're both really good. And also uh, the standalone expansion thing, the XCOM Enemy Within. I like that too. 
XCOM 2, in many ways, kind of almost made the XCOM 1 kind of obsolete. But not fully. They are still slightly different enough, so... Enemy Within kind of made, made Enemy Unknown obsolete, though, so there, there is that. Okay, now let's do a save game, because this could go really bad really quickly. So let's try to uh, stay on, on, on our toes and uh, not die. I have no idea where I sh like where to st start looking. This seems really dangerous. How far 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 does the ele the elevator go? Because I'm actually curious. Oh, and uh, they shoot like single shots and or, or snap shots in instead of auto shots, so they make it a little bit. Uh, uh, Hopefully more accurate to shoot and waste a bit less ammo. Okay, nothing yet. Alright, let's go here and see if... Uh... Oh, and these flashy th things are elevators. Right on. Seems like there's nothing there. What about up here? Oh, and uh, like this map has seven different uh, elevation levels, so they're pretty big maps, these. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. We could check the lowest place since we're down here anyway. Up high! Jesus. Yeah, that that is really bad. That's a brain sucker. Oh boy. Oh no. Can the other one see him? Her. Yep. That is unlucky break right there. Unit unit brain sucked. That's gone. The first alien we see, one person died immediately. <laughs> ah, that went great. See? I'm glad I saved because that. <laughs> Ooh. Right, good, great, love. Mm. Okie dokie. Okay, maybe it's just like stay here and see if we can uh, not get killed immediately. Because I'm. Gonna guess that the brain suckers eventually come through here. Oh, and uh, about the live a live aliens and so on, we're currently in indeed researching the biotransport module, so we cannot yet. Uh, oh, sorry, we cannot yet uh, get any live alien samples from anywhere to here. So currently getting a anything alive isn't a thing we can do. Not even dead. We'll just kill them and if they have a rifle or something, then we'll grab that. That that we can do, but nothing more. Okay, so now we're better prepared. If they come through there, we can kill it there. I think we can probably try and enter here and see if we can, like, pincer movement the enemy there. Brain suckers never happen on their own, though. There's always a person that, like, launches them. So there's almost certainly, like, a blue guy that has a launcher that launches the brain suckers, so we gotta be careful. So there's somewhere here. Careful, careful, careful. Mm. Where are you? Finding the bad boys is always the hard part, and I don't want to let them escape either. If th if they leave, they'll just pop up somewhere else, so we gotta find them before they escape, at least, as well. Man. 
that brain sucker went through a journey, apparently. There's nothing here. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and uh, I'm assuming the audio stuff sounds like decently balanced because uh, no one said, said, said anything, so I hope it's all good. Nice and easy. Now when the people start walking, that means their stamina, I believe, is kind of low. So I need to probably let them stay and rest a little bit and see if I can use the other group to... Uh... Okay, so maybe here? Oh, wow. No, that's bad. One of the people just went on its own from... Oh, no. Wow, that's so lucky that they didn't get 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 caught doing that. Man, where are people? Hello? Okay. Yeah, no, that's just an exit for no reason. Hmm. In my test runs, it never took this... Uh, well, runs. It, it, in my test game, I, I, I had like, um, let's say, eight... Uh, combat levels like this I, I dealt with and never it like n never it took even close to this long to find the baddies okay so up here maybe hmm there's a lone blue boy with a brain sucker launcher somewhere that's what I'm gathering from this. Man, they're really, really hiding. Like, really hiding. Let's go up the elevator there and see what's up. Hello. I mean, I'm more and more constantly convinced that there's, like, one, exactly one blue boy in here, somewhere, and that's what we're looking for. Just one boy. One blue boy. And that's why this is getting so difficult. Come on. Because I struggle to, because I'm, I, I, I guess, oh, hello. Huh. I guess I might be mistaken that there can be lone brain suckers, because, well, let's see. Ah, no. That is some action music right there. <laughs> All right, uh, the brain sucker is the priority because they are insta kills if they stay on the soldier's head for long enough. We gotta deal with it immediately. Okay, and then that boy. Shoot to kill. Oh, no. Change the targets, that boy. I know, I know, I know. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I I realize. A lot of aliens. Just shoot the thing. 
Okay. We need the uh, other group down there. Because the... Uh, I, I forget what the blue boy is called. It's something like Anthropod or whatever. Okay, now kill. Shoot. Fire upon baddie. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, you people just move there. And now every one of that group, shoot that one. Oh wow, that jump far and high, huh? Okay, and then kill that one again. Uh, we have some hits there. There you go. Okay, now, now. Now we gotta go get that brain sucker because if that escapes, it's a whole problem. Because that is not dead. Come on. Alright, there you go. Fire. That should. That, I'm guessing that's it. Yes. The first one, it seems, at least on novice, tends to be one blue boy, and he shoots those brain suckers. So yeah, all hostile units are dead or unconscious. You win. Boom. And John Taylor promoted to squaddy. There we are. And we got equipment from there. It's probably the launcher that, that causes those brain suckers to appear. That's good, because we get something we can research later. That is... That is... The thing we want from the first mission is... Get one brain sucker. I believe... I believe there is a possibility it could be destroyed if you... Um, kill the alien with explosive grenades. I think the uh, launcher can be destroyed in that scenario. So yeah, w when I do this, this is the scenario that can happen where the interceptor right here uh, gets home, which, I mean, that's fine. That's what we want, right? Our thing gets home when we're done, right? The problem with the thing is, because of the way I did the uh, placement of the people, that interceptor is empty of people. It has the cargo I have, but all of our people are uh, still just, like, in here. <laughs> they're, they're just, like, uh, returning on foot from the place. But in, in the end, it is kind of fun that they still know how to get back, though. Like, they do know. It's just... <laughs> like, they, they are coming. They're moving in the Futurama pipes and so on. Like, they are going. They're, they, the exercise will do them good. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, there is actually the possibility that if your uh, s s city is uh, destroyed enough, there might be a broken uh, bridge or something like this. Like, a, a, a broken pipe that then causes them to not be able to return home. It is possible. It can happen. They'll just... They'll then wait at the broken spot until the city uh, fixes the thing, I believe. I have a memory that that, that 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 can happen. And again, police car destroys stuff. That's just... I'll stop uh, um, pausing it for those, but again... Oh! Oh! And they broke a bunch of the city doing it, too. Boho, hold the phone. Wow. Damn, son. Lucky we're far enough to not not, not that be an issue for us. For the returning uh, 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 people. Uh, 
in my previous uh, test game, they actually eventually did grab a a taxi from nearby and then went all all the way. And I th I I think it's because the slum buildings here are essentially. Hmm. Well, now that I say it, it is connected with these tubes to the rest of the city, though. So I, I don't know why, but I think they grabbed us a, a, a taxi from like somewhere around here and then just went the rest of the, of, of of the way. But yeah, so yeah, if you take the people out of the plane, they need to return on foot, which is a a, a fun little mistake I uh, you can make. <laughs> not n n not a big deal by by any means, though. Okay, does anyone need a refill of ammo? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. They seem basically fine. I probably, now that I actually look at them, I should probably buy uh, med kits. I think I have a couple of people without a, a, a med kit, actually. Yeah, these two. And it, yeah, Cantona and Bailey are without without a med kit. Uh, okay, so let's actually do that before I forget. Because they... Uh, you need a med kit for cleaning up uh, critical wounds. And that can happen in, in any mission. And it's just... If you don't clean it up, they'll die. Or, or, if they are near an exit, they can exit the, the mission as well while they're bleeding. But it's, it's really, really risky. Because they tend to die before you get there. Alright, and that's the alien artifact we got, this thing. Weight 9, we know, we know n n nothing else, but knowing a weight is a start. Okay, I don't think I need any anything else yet, though. I think we're pretty okay. Excellent, good. Boom. Alrighty. And I think, yeah, we are 0% into our things because I, th I think the game went no more than, yeah, 49 minutes into the game. And the percentages, like, go maybe, I don't know, they update once and once a few hours, I'm not exactly sure. So, so they are working, we lost nothing, it's, it's all fine. And I think no one was even injured. That's really nice. Uh, I may actually... Ooh. Actually, I may need to... Yeah. Assign the two new rookies to combat training, though. That is something I do need to do. There. The combat training efficiency is 83 and instead of 100. I don't know if I should build a another training area just for that. I honestly don't know. They all still get training, so... I honestly don't know. It is... Uh, how expensive is that? It's 8,000. Your guess is as good as mine. At least not yet. Let, let's not do that yet. Let's wait and see how we all... Uh, because... We're gonna get injuries eventually, and when they're wounded, they can't train, and then that'll help get some room in there. So I think it's probably gonna be fine. Okay. And here's how quickly the clock goes, so... Brum. That is quick. UFO spotted. Oh boy. Our first UFO bit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Brum. UFO alien. Alright. Now we save the game for for a number of good reasons. Uh, one, because even the first UFO uh, encounter can go really, really sideways and you just lose some of your uh, peoples. That is bad day, bad day, bad day. So we're gonna, gonna have to be careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the dimension gates do move. I did not remember that. For some reason, I, di I didn't n notice that in my test run. Okay, good. So it doesn't really matter that they were close to each other at, at, the, at the beginning. That's fine. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen here is they come through the thing, and they're going to start to try to pump uh, 
baddies into the buildings. I actually only recently learned that it's good to try to look at what they do. Because you might actually learn where the aliens are before an alert, if you notice them pumping aliens into the world. So, that is good to be aware. So far, three UFOs, all of them similar. And then there's that. Okay, now. Now let's save the game again, because a couple of things. N number one, indeed, we may lose some of our things. That's bad. But number two, uh... I'm gonna hope that we're gonna manage to not destroy this that's different from the others, and instead crash land it. Because there's a pretty good chance that one of these three will crash land and, and, and will be fine. This one is the question. So maybe attack that first, actually, and hope there, because then we get more stuff to research if we get this right. I also maybe should uh, get rid of the uh, ground vehicles, because they never get anywhere in time. Although this UFO is really close, so I don't know, maybe, we'll see. Okay. So now, we need to try and, sorry, there we are, try and, uh, see if the, oh, there's five, oh, Jesus. Oh, no, five is really not good, huh? All right, so, thus far, I see no pumping in. Okay, that's destroyed. That... That's a, a win. That's cool. But we do wanna... Uh, not destroy them all. Okay, let's actually take that second. Because if both of these get destroyed, I kinda wanna reload this. Because I want to get one of both intact. All right. All right. This building for for one, the Mega Tribe Warriors Grav Ball League Astrodome. There's gonna be aliens in that Astrodome. I, I it's gonna be hard to remember this stuff, but there's gonna be some in that one. All right. The round yellow building, round yellow building. Uh, therefore we don't get an alert for it, and I think it's good for us because we'll manage the alien infestation better if we manage to do that right. Alright, on the move. Man, these are quick. Quick baddies. Oh, that's... That returned immediately. Wow, okay. So yeah, yellow, astro, whatever. Okay. People, can we move our butts? Okay, yellow astro building and Iliad Institute School. Uh, so the school south of the slums. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a crash land. Excellent, excellent. Good stuff, crew. Good stuff. Perfect. The school and the astrolab. Or the astrodome, so, so, sorry. Fuck! Destroyed. Nope, that's a restart. Fuck. Ah! Damn it. Uh, I think it was this one. Okay. Damn. I was so sure it would work. Okay. Take two. It almost worked, too. So. 
I actually don't know if their plan remains the same now, though. So, Astrolab, right? Sorry. I always say Astrodome. Right, sorry. Okay, now immediately change targets to that. Okay, and that's one crash land. That's really nice. I think we should save here because that is an excellent result now, this time around. Uh, okay, let's get back to... B -b 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 I don't even know. Three again. Let's, let's do, do, do that. All right. Now, I probably won't have time to get back to that. That dimensional gate, they're running in there. That's kind of like, you know. Now we just need to get these boys. Yep, that's already gone. Come on. Yep, this school again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, my my boys are so slow. Okay, that that is really really promising. Then here. Oh, again the same school, wow. Boom! Okay. There. One crash land of both types. That's the perfect result. Excellent. Good. Alright, now there's there's a way there, there's a way we need to do this. Hold on, I remember this in a minute. Uh I think I need to Oh boy. Was it attack again or just just to grab it? Let's see how it is. Yeah, attacking it again causes it to pick it up, I think. Or not. There's a way to make that work. I just, I can't... Uh... How did it work? Go to map point? Is that, that what it was? No. I did this just... Um... Okay, let's return first and then see if Oh boy, there is a way to pick them up. I know there is. Hold on. Maybe now it resets the thing? Oh! No, 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 no. I remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I need to move my people in the thing. And that allows me to pick up the UFO. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people in the... In, Interceptor, and then you uh, tell it to attack it, and then it recovers the UFO because it's unmanned. That's what happens. And then if there are people in it, then it causes it to uh, essentially raid the Crashland site. That is, that's a whole different story much, uh, well, n not much, but somewhat later. Okay. Boom. And now we have both UFOs here. Perfect. This is how you get forward in life. 
biotransport module is uh, 47%, quantum physics dimension gates 82%. Uh, I forget in which one they go, but yeah, that is mwah, excellent stuff. We have caused caused the sol solvage. Yes. Yeah, U U UFO type 1 and UFO type 2. Perfect. It there there there's also a curiosity thing in that that there's UFO 227, 228, 229 and 230 and so on, which as as far as I understand it holds the implication that there has, up until this point, been 220-plus uh, UFO sightings, right? Of these things, basically. That implies the story that it's taken some time for the government and for the city to set up the XCOM task force organization, which is me. So, it makes... it makes sense. You know, there's a... there's an... That that they and it's a fun thought that they thought of that that it it it's it's not just UFO one. Instead, that's how long it took for the government to set up this organization. There were two hundred and twenty plus sightings until we we became fully operational. <laughs> I don't know. There's it's an interesting thought. All right. Okay, so I believe this now means I should go to the yellow building here and the school building there, and I believe that should work. That I can just uh, raid the buildings for aliens. That should be a thing. I have actually never done this before. I always in my childhood waited for the actual alarm. But I believe this is how it goes how it operates and works and it's fine. So, let's see. So, we flush all of the people in in blue. I, I honestly don't know if I have to, but I don't want to accidentally have too few people. But I do know that I can keep the people in the plane and they'll then return with the plane and it's much, much simpler for them to return. So yeah, I can either raid building and then I'll be fighting the actual people of the organization. That That is a very different thing. And then there's uh, investigate building for alien activity. And, and the other bits are just equip agent and uh, equ equip vehicle. I don't even really know how it works if I'm in the wrong building, but uh, or, 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 or not in my home base, but yeah, details. Because like there's nothing in this building for them to equip. So it's an interesting, weird uh, mechanic to have that option here as well, but a a anyway, so investigate for the. I don't know if this will work. I don't know. It does. I think so. <laughs> All right. R real time thing. Let's go. Let's do this. I. It may be that the uh, that this will cause less. Uh, operations for us to deal with if I do it like this, that I don't wait for the alarms, but I honestly am not sure. Man. Uh, while the police station was for me the first uh, level in, in my test run, this was not. I had, I think, eight levels or so I needed to deal with, and none of these were a thing. Just hopefully I remember the other one, which is the school just south of the slum building. Up north of the... S oh, hello. A lot of sounds. That sounds... bad. <laughs> Alright, let's try to deal with all of this. I probably need to consider going upstairs. Okay, nothing here. They may be just through here. 
before we barge in, let's try to keep the formation tight so it doesn't go south from that. Because they're probably in there. I, ha I have a feeling. Whew. Or not. Huh. Alright, Spitter, let's go. Spitters are usually not too bad. And they apparently also run quite easily. Oh, come on, you. down. Let's see if we can move the other group into a more uh, interesting position. Let's see what happens if I put them there. They're probably just about to barge in from somewhere. Hello? Anyone home? Aliens or footballers, I either or. Ow! Oh, hello. All right. Firing squad stuff. Let's go. All right, ready for a brain sucker because one of them is just about to pod up from. Oh, hello. Damn, that's bad. Damn, a lot of worms in your face right there. Jeez. All right, brain sucker, kill it. Oh, it alive? How? How did that not die? I have no no one in my group has right. That's impossible. How did that brain sucker not just That's weird. That that's not supposed to happen, I think. Like because that that, that like a visual is of a brain sucker being alive still, that thing there. And then it just went away. All right, uh, we need to try and get to upstairs of that. Let's see if we can get the other group in there. Oh, hello, more, man, there's a lot of people here. That, I think, is the one that somehow fell over and didn't die, because there was no, no reason for it to not die. Right, we need to get to the spitter that 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 almost. Can't. Oh jeez, no, 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 no. Everyone, stop what you're doing and shoot the brain sucker. Okay. There, now spitter. Let's get that boy. Let's see if we can. Oh boy. Okay, just... Is that all? That's a lot of baddies for one. No, there's still more. Wow. That is honestly... impressive. Blazon! Hi, welcome! Glad to have you. Hope you've had an excellent day. Another game I'm too dumb to play. No, you're not. No one is too dumb to play almost any game. Like, the only game I can accept that is if, if, if the game requires actual coding skills. And, and even then, it's just about, like, 
knowledge instead of intel in intelligence. But hi, I hope you've had a ha had an excellent week. So yeah, this is XCOM a Apocalypse, as in the third one of the old school XCOM games, where we are a, a task force that's defending Earth, especially this specific city, against aliens. And I should probably save the game here, because I'm worried that the aliens here are maybe trying to flee at some point. I should probably be aware and alert for that possibility. Okay, uh, what do we do? Go up? Or go even further up? See what's there. I don't hear any splashy splashes, so that's a little worrying. Put people there, maybe? Okay, where should the other team look for? That's not a terrible spot. We can try that, sure. Ah! Ooh, I hear a baddie. Let's collect our people and then go in. It's gotta be close to the end here. Come on. Come on, you slow pokes. Let's go. idea which direction to go. Okay, so I heard the noise from here-ish, so... Maybe go back there? Yet. Could be worth it. Man, these levels are quite realized, that's for sure. Eventually, the aliens will flee if I don't find them, so I gotta be careful of that. This room I haven't checked yet, so it might be worth it. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> I swear, in my test run, it was much, much easier to find the baddies, for sure. will eventually find me, maybe, unless they want to flee, but I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Nothing thus far. this lead. Uh, it's a big area, at least. Uh, a lot of small bathrooms. It's, they're, they're usually not in areas this small, I find. Although, 
I have been mistaken on, on that point before. I... Oh! Hi! Oh! Hello! Eggs and everything. Where is that? Genuinely, where is that? Oh, okay. Wow. That is a... Interesting spot to... I'll try to move all, all of my people there-ish, because this is so here about. Yeah, there's eggs and the brain sucker. I don't know if the eggs will... Uh, hello? That's a dead brain sucker. Oh! Yeah, yeah. The, the unit under fire was because of the egg. The eggs can shoot. It's a very rudimentary shoot, but still. Also, all other than dead, or, dead or, or, or unconscious, you win. Score good. Equipment captured, six. Which is probably, again, one of those brain sucker launchers. Still, I'll take it. Absolutely. Because there probably can't be much of anything else in the in the early game, so e e e even if you get one per mission, that's basically all you can probably hope for at the very beginning. Number of squaddies and one squad leader. Boom. Go John Taylor. Okay. So, I believe now the people are will actually return from the mission in the plane, which is very good. Items from Tactical Combat Zone uh, are now in River Sticks. Excellent. Okie dokie, which is the the base name, if... Uh, okay. So, then... What I should probably... Let's check right quick if our people have enough ammo, because we're going to have to go to another cleanup mission right after. So, yeah, three, three... Three, two... I'll put one here. Uh, three again. That actually has one less uh, grenade than it should. That's weird. Uh, three... That's one less of the... Oh, and I didn't actually put the med kits actually on the people. I actually just should do that right now. Uh, let's see. On the... Top, yeah, Cantona and uh, Bailey should have medkits. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So far, so good. Boom. So now, uh, there are pp three people who are somewhat injured, but not badly. I think they're good enough to still go on the mission. All right. So enter building this school right here, because they will have aliens. Because that is where we saw the UFO drop their peoples. That is why. Let's still save the game to be safe, but I believe it should be pretty obvious that that is the correct course of action. Boom. There we are. Real time again, let's go. I hope that this means that we will get to research our stuff in peace a little better, because if if even more uh, uh, alerts still come, then we'll have to do a lot of missions before we actually get to uh, grab the alien carcasses with us, and that's always a little bit frustrating. Okay. Let's put a hard save here. Okay. Uh, also, I never did a school level either when I played uh, the test run, so... 
Let's hope it all, go all goes good. Alright, so far so... Let's put the other uh, uh, other team here. Oh, and uh, these blue and red arrows, they're exits from the level. Uh, if your people are really, really injured, it's sensible, I think, to send them out of the mission so they uh, don't die. Because dying is bad. Hot take. That is what I believe is the case. Oh, multi-worm. Bad news. Proper bad news, but at least this time there's a decent amount of uh, distance between us and it. So they shouldn't at least cause immediate massive problems for us. Uh, oh, and those worms indeed, uh, when they die. When they die, they... Uh, release smaller worms and that is a uh, that can cause issues man those get to places huh oh it went to the elevator probably okay let's Oh, wait, that elevator doesn't go too far, huh? Oh, 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 don't get too far on your own. Okay, let's move these. Um, not even sure. Maybe here? So they're on the prowl if needed. All right. I think they're so close here. I don't like close quarters, like tight quarters. With, oh, but... Hello. Okay. Need to be careful. Let's see what how this turns out. A spitter. I see. Okay. There! There's the multi-worm. I, well, it could be a different one, I suppose, but, okay. Nonetheless, this group below doesn't see anything. Oh, hello. Okay, uh, you people need to get closer. Try to move here while shooting, if you can. It's interesting that those doors are see-through. Not complaining, but it's interesting. There we are. Open door. Oh, again, the... I think the brain suckers get into a brief state of unconsciousness when they don't actually hit their target. I think that's what's going on when they jump. They like sort of get into a weird reset state and then they wake up and start going again. That's that's like the only thing I can think of why that happens. Oh, a civilian, hello. Oh no, that is bad. Multi-worm that close is... Ugh. Oh no. Retreat, my guys. Do not stay there. Right. Okay, you... Just all the way go home. Don't know if that's possible right now, but gotta try, right? Critically injured. Bad, 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 bad news. Gotta try. Like, he needs to go home immediately. 
Oh boy. Things keep going from bad to worse, huh? Re in really bad environments, we have this stuff going on. Okay, just look in that direction, you morons. Uh, at least they see the alien, I suppose. Let's go. Uh. Where are you going? What on earth is wrong with you? At least he's getting to safety. He's pretty injured. Let's just let him let him just bomb. Excellent. Man, we need to get closer now. It's so far away. Distance is good. Too much distance is bad. a lot of these. <sighs> Open the door, you're not gonna shoot through the door. How about you shoot him instead of kneeling in front of him? You're, you're, you're trying to kill them, not give them a, 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 a nice time. Jesus. Okay, so the plus side of getting these uh, buildings cleared is probably that there won't be more 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 alums later. True. Man, there's a lot of aliens in one level though when you do it like this. Ah, oh, Jesus, this is bad. Okay, uh, you need to go. Run, 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 run. And the rest of this squad... Just... I don't know. Don't be in that doorway. Okay, make good room. And now you... Also, you are too close still. Move away. Move away! God, you're idiots, all of you. Okay, and then she needs to leave. Oh boy. Lot of injuries. This is really bad. There's at least one more multi worm, and I need to go just pull it from wherever it went to. Jesus, this sucks. Okay, it isn't in there. Probably somewhere in here. Oh, critically injured, great. At least I caught it eventually. Okay, when that clears up, he's probably gonna be fine still. Let's do a save, because no one's dead, at least. That is definitely something, but... Man, this level is hard. So many multiworms in so many tight, tight spaces. Where? Okay. Yep, yep, that's the one. Kill. Kill multiworm with extreme caution. 
Alright. These boys and girls are now again combat capable. Let's go kill. Kill, 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 kill. How many baddies can there be? Jesus. Ugh. Kill the worm, kill the worm. Alright, these are at least... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, multi-worms are really, really not my thing here. Because in these corridors of tight corners, they really sneak up on you on getting close because they run quickly when you when you kill them they break into the smaller worms and those worms bite really really hard okay so the other three need to get there and kill a spitter the last one needs to clear up his, their uh, injury And we need more firepower in this direction. Wait, really? Uh, this is apparently a... Uh a something in there. There. A panicking sp spitter that we gotta get rid of. Please tell me that's that that's finally all of there you go, dead or unconscious, and apparently no one escaped. If we're lucky. That hopefully means that we can avoid a bunch of extra alarms later. So, let's dream and hope, right? A lot of a couple of squaddies more, a number of squad leaders. Ah, <sighs> oh, that was difficult. Hopefully really much worth it, though. All right. At Iliad Institute. Hoo hoo hoo. Iliad Institute is a pretty good name for a school, though. I, I, I kind of like it. Or a school like a... Well, yeah, it's a school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the organization was Life Tree, and Iliad Institute is the name of the building, so there we are. Items are here. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so everyone except five... Soldiers were already wounded. Luckily, only two of them are so wounded that I wouldn't take them back into missions, but still, that is... ouch. Alright. That... Those UFOs got a lot done. That much I feel like we, uh... We can agree on, probably. Damn, son. Oh, and, and, and very strangely, the time kind of glitches on me sometimes, where... I think the city time stays put while the combat time goes forward. So the 5735 is the combat time mission, if, if that makes sense. And the 5430 is after that, but it's in the city where the time apparently stopped until I came out of the combat again. It's it's it, it's it, 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 in a super weird glitchy way from for the time, the... 5430 is still the the newest save, it, even though 5735 was in the combat zone itself. It's pretty weird. So apparently the combat zone is like a time pocket that just... <laughs> the, the time comes back again later. Alright. First day is completed. Tactical missions 552. Alien incidents, minus 30. UFO shot down, 300. UFO incursions, minus 25. Damage to city, minus 61. Yeah, d during the UFO fights, I'm pretty sure, was when that happened. Okay, ancients rearmed and so on. Actually, it should probably be, there was a 
bunch of bullets used again. Should probably check that e everyone has enough of bullets at least to. Up. Oh, well, yeah. I kind of yeah. I want to have them have three clips if possible. It's just. I've had people run out. Oh, run out of uh, ammo. If I have only two. Not extremely common, but it has happened. For surezies. Give us a second. Oh, I need to check. Uh, let's put AP. Why not? Uh, that back into the backpack. Yep. Clip there. Oh, well, there we are. This would have at least been really close of having their ammo depleted if they had only two. I've never actually... I don't really... When this unit is activated, the display shows anything moving relative to, relative to its position. Sensors can penetrate any kind of terrain. I've, I, I've never used this. I probably should. That's probably true. That might be helpful. Again, I'm not exactly a deep knowing expert of this. I just, I played it as a kid, finished it, maybe even twice, but not 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 without the money uh, duplication, because the game is really, really hard to manage with uh, the funds it gives you. Because eventually, essentially, the um, UFO incursions get so incredibly difficult that you just cannot down the big UFOs with the resources you have. You just cannot buy strong enough or or even buy slash workshop strong enough uh, flying vehicles to actually down the big UFOs. It just, I had to just go into the f duplicate funds instead and just buy those and then I could down them. I don't know if that's by design that you're like supposed to let them infest the city and then just eventually you'll, like, level up to destroying the big ones? I don't know, but... Eh. Forky, hi, welcome. Glad to have you, and thank you for the lurk. Much appreciated. Alrighty. Okay, how's my, uh, research projects going? Dimension Gate's 98. Alright, so far so good. Also, so far, no uh, alerts, so I think I cracked the problem. Now we probably have enough time to actually research stuff. So, research project completed. Dimension Gates, do you wish to view the Ufopedia? You know, the the encyclopedia, but UFOpedia. Yes. Let's see. Dimension Gates. The Dimension Gates appear to be the means by which the alien craft travel from their home world. Our craft cannot travel through these gates without being annihilated by an antimatter implosion. We must disable a UFO and recover its control systems, propulsion systems, and power sources for research. Bum bum bum. I, as a kid, I was always blown away, like, I get to research stuff, it's so cool! And then I get to just research the stuff I find in the world, like the UFOs, the aliens, the alien artifacts, the alien weapons, it's so on and so on. It's 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 just mm, it feels good. Okay, let's. I don't think it matters which UFO type I go for first, but we might as well go chronological type type one first and just go with that. Uh, I don't remember actually which um, like at what time intervals the. Ah, well, there's at least. Uh, Sieg Siegfried Zander is is an option here we can get if we want to. I. It's been a bit, but I th think the thing with robot um, recruits is that I think they cannot improve in training, but they are stronger, more healthy, and they have, like, endless sea defense because they can't be mind-controlled. Or, or they at least practically can't be mind-controlled. Which is gonna be a thing later, so... I honestly am not sure if I should or shouldn't get robots. 
because it, it sounds to me that I can eventually train my people to be more uh, capable than robots. But in the early game, it might be more. It it might be a strong unit to have. So I actually, I I honestly don't know for sure. I I think for the sake of science, I probably could grab one. Especially if they cannot train, then it doesn't cause problems for my training, the combat training percentages anyway. Anyway, so why not? Let's try one. Let's try one beep boop man. And 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 his his face seems fine. I'm sure it's it's. It's, it's perfectly good. Boom. Uh, Brett Kolotov, 65. Yeah, that's not a great number for you, my guy. And no one else is in these. Okay, cool. Let's go. We hired a robot. Because these days, robots get paid money. It's interesting. <laughs> the future is fascinating. Yes. All right. Uh, we're gonna need uh, the equipment for him, though. Uh, we have the law pistol for him or, or already, but we don't have the armor. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. megapole, uh, helmet, left arm, right arm, body, legs. Bum 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 bum. If I wanted to, I could do five more armors, but then I'd need to wait for more um, stuff for them to get. I'm low on. Law pistol clips, though. If I, I, I may need to buy different weapons if that happens. If they uh, end up burning through all of them, we'll see. And Zekrit is here. There we are. Let's put his gear on wherever he. There you are. Hello. Hi. Also. I could be simply wrong for thinking that I cannot combat train them. We're going to learn that in a, just a minute. But that's the way I re at least remember it. I could be wrong. Let's let's find out together. All right, law pistol there. These here. Doesn't have a med kit actually. Should probably get that too. I actually don't remember if they can be critically injured though. Because they're not, like, they're robots. Do they, does medkitting count for them as well, or? Huh. Better safe than sorry, I think. Medkit, there you are. Bum. And there's my cargo. Bum. And put that in there. There you go. Boom. A beautiful, beautiful piece of work right there. Okay, so, yeah, Android training not possible. There we are. Good. I, 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 I remembered accurately. So, let's have this one, boy, because I think the, the early game, it's going to be useful. Because they are just, they can take more beating. And that is probably going to be needed. Because... My people are kind of all over the place here, and even if I can't train them, they therefore they don't use training facilities, therefore my percentages of training my actual human humans, they don't suffer. So it's I, I think it's a decent win-win idea in the end. Maybe in the very late game they are less capable, but even then they can't be mind-controlled, which I believe is a big problem in the later game bit. I think so at least not sure but i think so i remember at least like more enemy types that use a bunch of mind controls and confusions and so on kind of things and if androids can't be done done like can't be mind uh, boggled then surely it's still a plus even if they are by that point less accurate and less that sort of stuff in compared to the most trained up humans, so. Alrighty, very good. Uh, but I think I'm gonna stop the YouTube recording here, but uh, I'll still keep on streaming. And if you have enjoyed this, and I hope you have, uh, please do drop a like or 
even subscribe if you want to if you haven't, because it would truly genuinely help. And then you might notice more of my stuff, and that would also truly genuinely help. But most importantly, I hope you've enjoyed watching, because that's what makes this all worth it, for sure. At least I've, I've had fun, and I hope you've had too. Uh, I'll probably keep on doing this as a game for a while. I will keep on doing the other games as well that I've I've been. Like, I don't know, uh, uh, like, how much magic I'll play, but I will eventually finish Deus Ex. I'm, I have to imagine. I'm so far in, I can't just, just stop, right? But, uh, that. But I feel like this is a really fun game to get back to every, every once in a while as well, so. Seems like a plan. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and, uh, see you in the next video, and, uh, bye bye